Hello guys, we are with part 3 from car modeling, uh, I'm modeling and welcome back to my channel. Let's see how we are for the moment, so that's where we left last time. And for today I'm gonna do the side panel and uh, more we are gonna see later. Maybe I'm gonna do the roof and uh, the windshield, but let's get started. Now I'm gonna select the door panel, so I can take the geometry out of... Uh, this door panel, maybe I'm, I'm gonna select the, the whole thing and then shift D, P to separate the selection. Okay, so I have the whole edge selected, that's just perfect for me, but as I said, I'm gonna extrude for the moment only this part of the, the edge, E, Z, so that's gonna go down, let me hide this panel. Scale on Z axis, zero. So that's perfect. That's gonna be right here. So that's the point where, where I should uh, be. Of course, that's, that's gonna be right here aligned. I'm gonna add an edge loop around this area. Maybe I'm gonna scale also this edge loop. So it's something like that, it's just straight. Okay, I'm gonna move this on x-axis so it's gonna go something like that it's getting on an angle gx i'm gonna move this also a little bit and then from here i'm gonna extrude so it's gonna be an extrusion but let me select these faces and i'm gonna position them right on this part here g y so that's exactly the point which I need to align. Yeah, I'm gonna enable see through, extrude, going on x axis around uh, this area first. Let's go right on the point here, gx, like that. I'm gonna edit a little bit the words, so that's gonna stay right around here, and that's gonna be around here for. Okay, I'm gonna select the whole edge around here, so this edge needs to be here, as we can see also, we can see a little bit here that uh, the planes are matching around here, and also here, this small side, it's, it's going on that part, I'm gonna go lower, like that, so the line is a little bit lower from what we can see from here, and I need to move a little bit this bird around this area. Okay, so here they are matching. Now let's do the shapes. So for the shapes, I'm seeing this, this is getting uh, thicker. So I'm gonna move the birds around here like that. So we are gonna mimic with that, that shape here. It's starting thin and then it's getting bigger this ground area of the panel and from here i can see a small line around this area which i suppose it's uh, this line from here so i'm gonna put the line around here let's take a look something like that now uh, from the top view i'm gonna need to do some adjustments let's see gy so that's where this edge should be even though it looks straight around here which is strange for me but let's take a look so this area here from my point of view this is too, too much here it's going like that <laughs> that's that's not what i want exactly so uh, let's let's test something g stretch and I'm gonna just do a projection. Every other point should be the same if I do the same uh, the same thing. Maybe I'm gonna select edges one by one. Now that's better. It's looking straight. Let's get a top view. So we have with something like that, which is pretty much there. Let's take a look at the photo. So this plane, it's it's going straight also here 
So I need to adjust this part. I'm going to enable snapping G, Y, and that's going to be on the same plane with these parts here. So they are going straight. Now I can align also these points. So that's going to snap here and this point is going to snap here. That's much better. Now I can select all the edges and G stretch. Now that's everything better. This, this plane has to go in one line from this panel with this panel. It has to stay straight. That's that's just perfect. As you can see, now the, the line adjusted almost perfectly. It's like 99% there. So it's just perfect. Apparently I've done a, a good approximation with this plane, how it how it curves. Now let's uh, let's continue. So um, this line here is this this line. And from what I'm seeing, it's pretty much straight on on this side. One second. So if I follow it like like it's here. Let's go to editing. I'm adding an edge loop around here. I'm gonna go to words and adjust these words to be right there. This point is gonna slide a little bit like that. GZ also here. And then let's see where our points are. First of all, I'm gonna start with these three points and they are right here which is not that perfect they are they are going straight so if i get the position from the first point right it should be like that so these points can go like this i'm gonna enable see through that's pretty much how it looks so now if i select the whole edge and uh, go for a g stretch but i'm gonna lock the z axis that's how it should uh, act let's take another look so this plane it's straight here we see the line starting from from this area which i guess it's pretty much there now we can see i've gone too much g y like that and then we can hit g stretch again so the whole line it's adjusting by by that in this way, I know exactly how much I should should go eight millimeters more. Okay, so that's it. That's how it should look. Let's take a look at the side. So here it's in this area. It's getting close to to the border here, to the line here. But here it's getting the way. And by that, I'm gonna go into Y something like that gy just a little bit here let's take a look at this line so this line it's gonna go lower like that that's too high so that's gonna stay here and these points are gonna be close to this area around here like that let's see i've gone too much this should this should be the shape and here they are like that Maybe I'm gonna take a look from the side. So that's right here. Let me try something else. That's gonna be spaced evenly like this. So here is this kind of a plane. Okay, let's just take another look. So here I need the, the edge exactly on the spot. This should be fine. Then here I need to make a small adjustment that's going the same as this line and i see it's pointing here let's just carry on that's on the same plane here so i can just i will select also this edge extrude x and that's gonna be right here i'm gonna take this plane into this area this should go like that and maybe i will slide that also around here so I can continue this shape here from this edge because here we have this kind of a shape okay so I got a geometry which is looking like that I just reduced this edge here I moved a little bit the point 
from here so it's aligning with this line so if i'm adding edge loops they're gonna go like that and the edge loops here are just fine everything it's going pretty good now um, i'm gonna align this point here let's see where it should go so um this point should be let me go only on y-axis this point should be here and for this point let's see where it's matching it's not going anywhere it's matching somewhere around here let's say so um this area it's almost straight here we can see a little bit of a change in the planes but for the mo for the most part it's straight so i can select these edges and then g stretch i'm gonna just put them on spread like that so everything is straight now we can take a look from so this point this point here i guess is the is the lower point so the so the top point which is this one needs to go around this area that's where it should match so by knowing this i can adjust also these points like that okay so i have the right position now almost the right position i'm gonna get up a little bit with the geometry around this area something like that and then here we we are gonna do this kind of a shape so to better see this kind of a shape i'm gonna go on y just a little bit like that and then i'm gonna move this also here and everything else should adjust by it let's see i'm gonna move this like that so we can see the shape created well that's a pretty hard shape from what i'm seeing so i'm gonna add this line around here so we have the topology right where it needs to be for this particular line i'm gonna move these points on x-axis so they stay right here the thing with with this geometry it's so fine because it's sharpening also this this area around here which i need and that's where the the topology is helpful in gx i'm gonna move on x also this point around here now let's take a look for these lines where they where they should be they're pretty much there i'm gonna add one point here okay everything looks good from this area now let's see how we are gonna do with this area gx like that okay that's right on the spot it's good In this point it's where it should be In this whole plane it's straight from from what i see is just a subtle change of a planes here it's more accentuated so i can get more inside let me take a look so here everything is going like that let me see how how these lines are adjusting if i go like this now <clears throat> okay so that's pretty much the shape i can relax more the things going on here so everything is gonna go smooth for these edges around here i'm just gonna select the edges and i'm gonna select also these edges around here that's gonna stay how it's already like that let me take a look so it's bending more around this area than how it's bending around here it's the same bend as from the front from what i'm from what i'm seeing something like that so i do not have to bend a lot this thing let's see maybe no we should stay straight yes that's that's pretty much the the look of the things now here i need to to do that line maybe i can see it in another photo so here there, there is a line uh, showing up around this area which i can do by just adding another edge loop around here let me just get the the, the spacing correct 
into these parts or maybe first off I'm gonna add two more edge loops here GZ okay that's matching around here things are looking good like that so we we have solved also this this thing and now we can get a better distribution around here because these panels are gonna be simple as you can see that it's nothing visible around here right clo close to the edges which we do not want maybe here these edges are gonna stay the same so only the the parts from here are gonna be adjusted i'm gonna get a little bit close and then g y so i will go with something like that g y more we can already already see this bend around this area it's fine for the moment i'm gonna leave it just like that but uh, i'm gonna adjust these points here for for a more more circular shape here they are already pretty pretty much there maybe this one is gonna go up a little bit more from here I'm gonna extrude only these points I don't need this point to go on anymore maybe first of all I can I can scale this like that then I'm gonna position everything GZ like this so I'm gonna use this edge for the next part I am do which I'm doing like that maybe a little bit of smoothness relax everything now that's gonna be this edge gy okay apparently i have to move the things a little bit to align like this point should be here and the rest of them they are pretty fine let's see how they look in this view no totally not there so that's here that's here maybe I'm gonna go just a little bit like that so we have the top shape maybe we can see from the side no still the the mirror it's uh, blocking the view but this should be the the way okay now again I'm gonna select these edges and I'm gonna go to this edge so extrude Y G X like that so first of it's good to establish the planes so where i where i have the line where i have a line i can get the the position pretty much exactly how how it needs to be i'm gonna relax uh, no not bridge relax the geometry a little bit so everything goes much better this should be the line which it's around this area now this line it's right here matching with this one let's take a look at the photo so that's the line of the plane which we need to do right here maybe a little bit up like that yes that's a that's a good a good plane we need a little bit of space from the door part we have this kind of space created here and that's good here and here now i'm gonna extrude go around this area and if i move a little bit from the x-axis that's perfect so now, now i will follow this line like that and if i'm going on y-axis this line it's matching here and that's gonna be straight from what i see so um, G stretch on Y axis should be helpful. G stretch, uh, Z limitation only Y axis. Let's take a look. So here we is, we still have the curve. Here it's everything fine. And here we have a straight plane. It is like that. And that's a that's a big panel <laughs> for a for a curve. Let's see everything matches around this area. That's what we just created. 
So apparently, I guess that's gonna be the tutorial with <laughs> the side part. Or maybe I'm gonna do more and uh, I will try to to edit as much as I can to, to reduce the size. So maybe I will reach to something like 30 minutes. So this is the top part which I am adjusting right now. And of course it needs to be on the other way. So that's gonna go here. So that's the panel which we are trying to, to create right on this area. I'm gonna add one edge here, G, X, and I'm gonna scale a little bit to match the points here. And by now I can put this line into this area. Let's check the side view. Okay, everything gets well distributed and uh, I guess I, I pretty much hit the right shape here. I'm just gonna add two more edge loops around this area like that. That's gonna be scaled. Let's see how we are with the with the planes on this axis. So this one should go here like that. Mm. I have another image. I'm just gonna take a look from the back view. Now from from what I see the the, the plane from this band, it's uh, pretty much straight. So I don't need this curve. Yes, like that. And if I adjust this, that's going somewhere else. G stretch like that. Let's take a look. I'm gonna enable in edit mode and I can see this edge it's apart from the door panel, which it's perfect. So I'm gonna follow the back view, which it's uh, helping me a lot for the moment. Here, let's say I'm taking a middle ground. So it's aligned here on this view and on this view, it's also aligned. And here it's close, close to the point, the point to be aligned. Um, for the moment, let's go with one like that. And of course, this this needs to be up around here. So I got a pretty good shape out of it. That's the panel of the car. I'm gonna add two edge loops around here so we can get the things going much better. Okay, GX, so this, it's also like that. Let's see the top view, what it's this line doing. GY, so it needs to be somewhere around here. And this GY, that's gonna be around here, that's strange. You know, I'm gonna leave it just like that. And I'm gonna hit relax, not for everything, but for this. So the shape is much smooth, okay. I'm gonna add two edge loops around here, which are gonna be moved just a little bit like that. We create that kind of uh, curve going on from top to bottom. And here I'm gonna do the same. So this should be the shape. Now I'm getting uh, space for everything, but here the points are in a shearing position and I don't like that much. And maybe I will add one edge loop around here. So everything is gonna go a little bit smooth like this. So this point, it's gonna go like, like that. And this one also, I put it here and then get a little bit lower with it like that. That's not on the right spot like this. I don't like exactly how the geometry is looking from here. So I'm moving this point around this area and this one like that. So that's much better. We have the smooth transition here. Things are going pretty good. I'm gonna put one edge loop around here. Okay, so the shape is much more clear. All right, I, I came back from the break. So let's carry on with the shapes in here. This shape is gonna go uh, 
in this way. I can already tell that that from here it's going like that. I've already cut the bad parts from the first part that I've done of uh, this video and I was like uh, I had around one, one hour uh, and 14 minutes <laughs> and and I got it to, to a point like uh, 25 minutes so it's pretty fine now I can carry on uh, with the tutorial and uh, so from here I'm gonna extrude this point and these two points need uh, need to merge for this one I'm just gonna go inside a little bit like that let's see so uh, it has to kind of go in a curve also from here which we are required to do for the moment I'm gonna move this point maybe I'm gonna slide this point like that so we have to, to move the whole geometry let me see I'm gonna move the whole geometry here it's still detached from what I'm seeing the top part can be left like that or I'm gonna see so I select everything from here let me just duplicate this okay I keep the same position and then I move a little bit down and a little bit on Y axis like this now for this part I guess that's gonna be fine with uh, just the solidify modifier I don't need to get this much inside or maybe let's just take a look for how much I'm required to go I'm gonna select all the edges from here till here so it's something just like that but that's that's unnecessary so I'm gonna go with a shape like this let me take a look so that's gonna be taken by the solidify I will do the same with this work so that's just fine maybe I'm gonna slide the edges more like that so now from here we can just go on with everything I'm gonna just let me select these edges from here from here till here I'm just gonna slide right around this area so everything is going pretty much the same this one is gonna be here let's take a look at the top view I have to adjust a little bit the y-axis from from this point so it's gonna stay around here maybe I'm gonna scale just a little bit I see it's getting thicker here and uh, I got a little bit of a bend around this area so of course I'm gonna select everything because uh, the bend it's it's all around like that so it's following well, it's following also the door panel because this is also curved so the, the curve flows all together now that's perfect here in this area here I should do some uh, some work because here this point it's lifting and uh, I'm uh, just gonna add an edge loop around here let's see maybe I can solve it by by just moving this edge so this point should be right on the same spot with this for the moment but we need to get some kind of a curve around here let's uh, let's take a look so here we have a curve is not a simple plane like that or even straight so that's just gonna be done by let's uh, let's select this maybe I'm gonna select also this so I'm gonna go a little bit down we can take a better look from here and like that now if we if we look here we are getting that kind of of curve so by by that we know exactly how we should go with this edge so it can be like this maybe a little bit up from here I'm gonna lift also this edge here so that's here we have this kind of a curve now now let's look at the at the door maybe I'm gonna adjust a little bit both of the of the points so this point it's gonna be here 
that's just gonna be helpful for me because I can now adjust also this point here. I'm gonna turn on snapping and then it's got, gonna automatically snap to that area. And by that, now I can uh, add an edge loop. Let me see how it goes. So yes, it's messing everything up. I don't need any other edge loop around here. So for the moment, I'm gonna just delete this face. And if we figure, uh, we figure out what we need to do with it after we add the edge loop. So I'm gonna have an edge loop around here. Maybe I'm gonna adjust a little bit the geometry around this area just to, to fit to, to this shape here like that. So everything is uh, in a good place. From here, maybe I can space the things a little bit like that. Is too much at this point. And that's just good. Now, uh, let's see how we are going to do. Mm, what I'm thinking of, I'm putting the face for the moment. I'm going to take a look at the face orientation. Everything is fine. It's just fine. But for this bad boy, maybe I'm going to delete also this face around here, this edge. So that's fine. We have only quads now. So I'm going to select the, the whole edge as it is here. Sorry, wrong edge. Like that. And I'm going to go a little bit inside because from what I'm seeing, this edge, it's flowing from here. We don't have any thickness going on to this area. So that's just going to be more inside. Of course, it's going to be like this. But when we smooth the things, we get something like that, exactly what we are looking for, not just straight. So it it's going to get a less uh, planar face there. Of course, I will need to take uh, to look at the geometry to, to flow around like this. And this panel is pretty hard because it's it's so big. I can select this and I'm going to merge it this point here I can get it a little bit lower like that so I'm uh, I'm just tricking the geometry not to add much more unnecessary geometry okay let's uh, let's also do that uh, the part from uh, from the door here so I'm gonna press extrude I'm gonna go on y axis like that something like this here is not aligning. <laughs> Always the, the same problem. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. Let's take a look. From here, I don't see exactly what's going on. Maybe here. Yes, yeah, so I can take a look. It's uh, this is gonna be left deleted. Okay, so now I can adjust these points. I'm I'm gonna press G twice, and I'm getting this kind of a shape because it's a more like a scoop, like that. That's just perfect for the moment. I'm gonna leave it like, like this. And uh, now let's see how I'm getting the geometry just to flow around because I'm gonna need, I, I'm required to put an edge support around here when I'm gonna subdivide. And I'm gonna need also one edge support around this area. So the, the better thing to do is to make the geometry to, to flow around here. So if I have this kind of a geometry, it's gonna follow. But now I need to figure out how I'm gonna make this not being a triangle. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. I don't need any edge support around this, this area because I don't need to crease a lot this thing so i can put an edge an edge loop around here everything goes pretty well with that so we still have that kind of a shape going on here maybe i can play a little bit more with the, with this edge from this side i'm gonna go a little bit more inside maybe also here i'm gonna go like that let's take a look how everything is playing out, so it's unseen when, when you subdivide it. And maybe also when you take a look here, 
Now I, what I can do more, maybe I can adjust a little bit of the geometry around here. So this face, these edges are gonna be for the same length, like that. Everything else looks like it's pretty fine. It's doing perfect. Here, let's take a look. I added these two edges so I can get a little bit more of a curve going on. That's fine here. Let's take a look. Here I'll, I'll add another edge look like that. And maybe with this point I'm gonna go a little bit more on the Y axis like that. And now if I slide it, I slide this point and then so by selecting these points here, I can go a little bit more down with every single point I'm going more and more down. So the shape, the oval shape, the, the curved shape, the shape it's more prominent, more evident like this, something like that. Of course, here I am, I am having too much geometry, which I don't really need. It needs to be smooth. And uh, to solve that, I'm just going to go back to edges. I'm going to select all the edges around here and space. So they are even now. For this one, I, I don't really want to move this edge from here. So I'm going to select just that edge and then space like that. Let's take a look now. As you see here, it's perfectly smooth. It's not increasing the geometry is not concent concentrating the geometry around that area for what i'm having now it's uh, it's pretty good for uh, for the moment now let's let's continue because we have to push a little bit more this ge this geometry around here so i'm gonna select uh, every single part of this edge until until here where it's where it's finishing and then i'm gonna go more inside so, so for here, I guess here inside uh, I have a vent because the engine is uh, here in the back of the car. Here you have the trunk. And the engine is not is not in the front. So uh, the ventilation of the engine it's made by this area. Here, here the, these grills are helping uh, with the ventilation for the brakes, not for the engine. So here I will put also a grill inside, maybe. Uh, I don't see exactly what's happening with with this because it's hidden by the by the shadows, but I'm pretty sure that's what they put there. Okay, every single thing here it's selected. So extrude going on X axis and maybe I'm going to go with something like that. That's enough. The grill is gonna come maybe somewhere in the in the middle around here, or maybe maybe I don't really need to put it. Um, from what I'm guessing, when I, when I render this part, is got is not gonna be visible at at all. Now I need to move a little bit the part that I'm not seeing from here because. Uh, it's getting out from uh, from the curve shape. So I'm gonna go with something like that. We just con continue with the with the curve. Let's take a look. So I see this is straight here. Let's take a look underneath. So what I need to do, I continue until here and then here. These points, these edges need to go a little bit down J they just go straight not this edge like that gz so i'm going with something like this is just getting a little bit more straight like this this edge this edge is around here should be keep the same position p for separating now i have this edge here which uh, let me just extrude it so we can see it better. I move it. Extrude on X axis. We are going to this point here. So we can keep the same, the same curve around here. Now let's take a look from the side view. So I know exactly how much I, I should go. This point is matching here. 
but here it's somewhere in the middle so I'm just gonna leave it right here let's just take this point I'm gonna put this point here this point it's well there that point is doing great okay so it's pretty much there I see also from here that the, the things are not matching <laughs> so accurate so I'm going like that I'm just gonna follow the top, the top view from here then of course that's gonna go a little bit up from what I'm seeing I should match around this area maybe I'm gonna go a little bit more with this point here <laughs> GX now I'm just trying to, to get a better look from these points around here okay let's take a look from the side view everything is pretty cool around here maybe I'm having something to describe better the shapes so from here I am having this kind of a slope down first of all I'm gonna extrude and move on Y axis around here then from the back view I can see exactly how I need to go in the back here and also we can see where these things are starting to, to appear first of all I'm gonna move this shape on X axis and from here I'm gonna add an edge loop if it's letting me to, to do that I'm gonna add an edge loop here and one edge loop around this area and by that because I, I've already got this edge loop selected I can go uh, to adjust a little bit this this part here let's just take a look that's that's the highest part of the of the top maybe I'm gonna move a little bit these words around here this one is gonna be moved also something like that of course I need to adjust the position from here like this now let's let's see so by adding that that point I also see that here I'm going a little bit down like that so this is where the point is it's going and from here I need to do this kind of a thing here I guess it's just an open face I'm just gonna look for for more photos so I'm having and uh, that's gonna go down like that and it's also gonna go on x-axis like like this so I have already got the the shape I'm close to the to the shape so I'm gonna add let's say with one, with one edge loop I've added one edge loop around here here it's a little bit strange from what it looks maybe that's the way, the way it's working from what I see here the, this is kind of like that anything else to adjust uh, I guess no no so um, this part can be left like that it's just straight of course it's having a little bit of curve and uh, that's, a, that's the tricky part because I'm not seeing exactly what, what's happening uh, here I can just look I have this kind of an edge but it's not helping me too much I'm gonna add one edge loop around this area let's see how much we are gonna go up so something like that I'm gonna add one edge loop around here so we, cur we curve a little bit the roof mm, I'm gonna adjust also the y-axis from from here just a tiny bit maybe I'm gonna go a little bit down with this part like that at least that's what I'm seeing here here it looks like it's a little bit bent also the, the top part but here I'm seeing it straight maybe I'm gonna leave it just straight like that so we can already see the, the shapes created around here let's see how it looks subdivided so that's pretty much there <laughs> okay and uh, maybe I'm gonna continue with the shape here just to, to finish everything so that's that's finishing here I can already see what's happening here I don't know exactly what's what's with this edge is this kind of an edge 
<laughs> so we have more complication with this panel because this is also one single panel from here to here and I guess we are having a small edge around here we are also gonna be required to do the engine but, but that's for another part okay so I'm gonna select these edges around around here shift D P selection got got the edge out and now extrude going on Y so until here everything should be right on this point I was, re I was ready to say to say everything sh should be on the on the same spot but it is not I'm gonna add one edge loop around here and that's just gonna match here this point here everything is going well for the things I'm already having that's the point where I where I should be from what I'm seeing this point it's just straight it's not the same like like here so by that I'm just gonna scale Z axis and zero so that's going on this point here that's the that's the point I guess yes that's exactly the the point where where I should be with with everything now let me add to edge loops I'm gonna select this one going on X axis somewhere around here let's take a look from the side now I'm gonna go to the Y axis like this let's see where I where I gone that's pretty much there let's take a look at the subdivided result and uh, that's it that's the shape already 43 minutes <laughs> Okay, so I've done also this part. We, we are gonna have a lot of details to, to do for, for this. Um, yes, let's see on the front. This is one, one, one single panel. So I'm gonna do also that. And with that, with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the, the tutorial. I couldn't just leave the tutorial to be for, uh, for the side uh, panel here. I'm too excited to, to, to finish this car faster also because I, I like somehow to to work on uh, on cars they're pretty cool when, when you get the, the shapes so smooth and with the crisp it's just uh, wonderful now I'm gonna extrude on X axis around here let's take the, the front view so also the front view it's helping me a little bit to understand exactly where I should go and something like that that seems to be enough like this geometry it's fine here and then let's select this edge and this edge should be right here let's take a look so it's right on this panel from what i'm seeing here in the blueprint it's on here but we are gonna do it exactly by the photo because the photo is the is the best and describing it and also we can see that happening on the on the top view is just matching right here with this panel okay so i selected this edge and now i'm gonna press e for extrude let's see how how the geometry is positioned here so i'm not having exactly a point right here but what i can do it's uh, uh let me just get out of edit mode from here and i'm gonna go back to edit mode here so I'm gonna enable snapping. For this point, I know exactly I'm having a point here. So if I press, if I press G and then move, move everything there, it should match. And then I can um, go to edge snapping. And then if I move this point, it's just gonna snap on the edge, so I can slide it perfectly well where I want it. Now I don't need anymore the the snapping option let's take a look from the front so we we can see exactly how how we need to to play with the shapes here so g y that's gonna be around here maybe with this i'm going to something like that here the view is not matching <laughs> it's just not that helpful g x a little bit here so i'm matching this area that's pretty fine. I'm gonna add two more edge loops around here. G, Y, like that. That's not so cool. Okay, the smooth result 
the subdivided result looks fine. And as I said, the edges are flowing very good. So we have the, the result that was a, that was the tutorial. Let, uh, let me get uh, this this camera a little bit bigger. So that was the tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful for you if you found anything anything new in this tutorial. Um, please leave a like, subscribe and comment if you have any questions. As always, uh, the model is gonna be uh, it's gonna have an update on the CG Trader and uh, the link is gonna be down in the description where you can download what I've done in part one, in part two and in part three of the tutorial with this, with this little car and, um, and the, mo uh, the model it's, it's free. So that, that was for today. Bye.